So you might be in a position where for some reason your cellular data on your iPhone just isn't working. So maybe you can see that maybe it's grayed out like this or possibly it's not even turning on or maybe it's green and your data is still not working. Now the first thing I recommend doing is ensuring that you have a SIM card installed on your iPhone. If you do not have a SIM card on your phone or if you're not using your eSIM or whatever the case is, that may be the first issue. So just go through and make sure that your SIM card or eSIM, whatever it is, is fully activated and that can possibly fix the issue. There's been lots of times, at least recently, where maybe your eSIM or SIM card didn't transfer properly or it's not working properly. Just make sure that is not the issue. That is a troubleshooting thing in and of itself, but as long as you can verify that that is not the issue, then you can move on, then it's usually not that big of a deal. The next thing I'd recommend doing is going into your settings and click on cellular and see if you see this panel or if you see a panel that populates with your cell plan. If you see a setup cellular or anything like this, then your data is not going to work because you're, you don't even have a cell plan associated with this phone. This is not even a phone that has a SIM card in. So if you see this, then that's the issue. You need a SIM card in this phone. But if you do have a panel that basically shows you like, oh, you know, like you're using T-Mobile or AT&T or whatever it is, then the next thing I'd recommend doing is going through and scrolling down into general on your iPhone, click on software update, and what I'd recommend doing is updating your iPhone. Whatever version of software you're able to update your device to, this is going to be a way that's probably going to end up fixing this issue for a lot of people out there. Again, it's not a guarantee, but it's another one of those things you can try doing that, will, that might end up fixing the situation. Now, another thing you may be into or another situation you might be in is maybe you're in an area where there's no signal. If you're on a road trip somewhere and there's like a no signal around you, then that might be the issue. If you're going to websites like whatever, apple.com or whatever the websites you're going to, and nothing is loading, well, either all the websites are down or you don't have any signal. Usually it's probably you don't have any signal. So all you have to do is pretty much wait it out until you know the signal is back. Go to an area that has better signal that may end up fixing it. Another thing you can always try doing is restarting your phone, holding the buttons that typically were started. And that's another thing you can try doing as well. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.